Dateline, Seoul, South Korea, 1953. After three years of fighting, the Korean War comes to a close. Unfortunately, the war has decimated farmland, causing massive food shortages. However, due to a surplus of processed meat at U.S. Army bases and the ingenuity of the South Korean people, Ure Jige was born. A hearty stew made from instant noodles, processed meats, and Korean spices. And we are going to make that soup on today's episode. A twist, I know. <laughs> Now then, in order to make our pot of Korean artery clogger, we gotta make a soup base. Now then, add two tablespoons of Korean chili paste, aka gochujang. And uh, don't worry, I'll leave a link to this in the description as well as other specialty items. Next, add two tablespoons of Korean chili flakes. All right, next, add one tablespoon of soy sauce. One teaspoon of rice vinegar. And one and a half teaspoons of fish sauce. Yeah. Yeah, try not to breathe in the stuff. And add seven cloves worth of garlic minced. Well, home scrap. A teaspoon of sugar. Grab yourself a binging with Babbage style tiny whisk and tiny whisk it together. Now the thing with Boudet Jige is that there is no correct recipe. It's completely customizable. But if you really want to Jige that Boudet, one ingredient is a must. Spam. Remember, this dish was invented shortly after the Korean War. And just like my Twitter mentions, the US Army bases had a surplus of this stuff. Anyway, we need to take our spam and chop it up into bite-sized pieces. So let's open it up and... Save 30% on imported erection medication by clicking the link below. Okay, once all the ingredients are prepped, grab yourself a nice, large, straight-sided saute pan like this. Like I said before, it's completely customizable. So what am I putting in mine? Some thinly sliced ribeye. Some smoked beef sausage. Notice how I'm giving each ingredient their own section. Keep note of that. The spam from earlier. Some Korean rice cakes. This is looking a little meat heavy, so let's add some veg. Some enoki mushrooms. You can find these at the Korean grocery store. I like them because, well, they look funny. They provide a great texture when they're cooked. If you can't find these, you can get by with regular mushrooms. And finally, one cup of kimchi. All right, take this to the stove top. Okay, we've got our pan on the stove top. Next, add enough chicken broth to cover. Next, take our soup base and just uh, dot it around the pot. Bring it to a boil over high heat. Okay, once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat down to medium low and let it cook for 10 minutes while stirring occasionally. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Well, almost 10 minutes because we have one more important ingredient to add, instant ramen. Take two packs of instant ramen, insert it into our soup. It's gonna take a while for it to soften up, be patient. Serve it up in a bowl, make sure you get a little bit of everything, and dig right in. Times are quite understandably tough, but as I look at my soup, I once think about the dire situation South Korea was in at one point. But hey, South Korea went through stuff that was way worse than what we're going through, and they're doing great today. Ish. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun, and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching! If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and support me on Patreon.
Yeah, so I decided not to shave for this episode. Should I do what Linus does and just grow a full beard? Let me know in the comments.